we're going to do a snap-on comb on a sporting dog. Um, we're trying to emulate a stripping look without actually taking the time to strip it out. Um, a lot of our clients don't want to pay for it, but we still want to have that nice look. So I'm going to use a two comb on my five and one blade and I have it on a 40. And I'm just going to come nice and slow. And I'm going to come just about to the barrel of the rib, which is right here in the middle. And you can see that the goal here is to follow the lay of the coat. And I want to cross cut any hair. Right here is the beginning of the loin. I'm going to go right to that little divot. I'm going to expose the muscle on the upper thigh. And then I come back over. And if you go nice and slow, you're not going to get any tracking. One of the hardest things with these harder coated dogs is you get a lot of tracking out of it. You can see how, how pretty that came out. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to get this lay right here on the rib. And um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to do this and come straight down, okay? <clears throat> the hair is going to start just below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his jacket and I'm going to pull it up a little bit. And I'm going to skim right off the rib, all right? And then when I drop it down, it goes just below the barrel. So I'm going to bring it up. You can see this hair here, which is actually in the loin. If I go like this and dig into it, I'm going to dig a hole out, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to pull it up. And I'm just going to skim nice and easy. Like to stop every once in a while and check what I'm doing. I don't want to go too crazy without looking. You can see how that's starting to blend in. It needs a little bit more. Now I'm at the top line. All right, so I just did the side. Now I'm going to do the top. All right. I'm going to come from here, all right, just behind the shoulder blade. Blend that in. Right. And I'm going to follow the direction that the coat grows in. All right. What I don't want to do is this. Okay. If I do that, it's going to cut a line in the hair. You can see that this coat naturally grows this way, then this way, and then it gradually starts to turn. You always want to be careful when you're using your snap-on combs to make sure that you're following the lay of the coat, particularly on your straight hair dogs, your drop coats, and your hard-coated dogs. Thank you.